Hi, I'm Diana Jackson. And I'm Bill Baron Mickle. And I'm Frank Petrie. We're part of the Battle Point Astronomical Association on Bainbridge Island. We're here to ask you to support a really cool project, the Battle Point Sundial Project in Battle Point Park on Bainbridge Island. The Battle Point Sundial will be a large equatorial sundial located adjacent to the Ritchie Observatory in the park. It will be constructed of a bronze clad steel and stand about 12 feet tall. Why a sundial at Battle Point Park? In fact, why put a sundial anywhere in the Pacific Northwest where it's cloudy and rainy a lot of the year? We asked these questions of Professor Woody Sullivan at the University of Washington. He's also known as Mr. Sundial. The thing about Seattle, uh, you, might, you might say, well, Phoenix should be the sundial capital. I mean, you know, but they don't go out in the sun in Phoenix. You, know? <laughs> you, know, you get away from the sun, right? When the sun comes out in Seattle, we all go running outside. You know, what can I do now that the sun is out? You know, wow, you know, I can actually have a picnic. I can, I can look at the sundial, I can tell the time. So we're enthusiastic about the sun here. So it actually fits really nicely. The sundial is a perfect complement to the observatory. The observatory teaches our community about the night sky. The sundial will teach us about the day sky. It positions the observer in relationship to the solar system and invites questions about our place in it, all by the light of day. Sundials cultivate a unique appreciation of time. Their very mechanism asks us to slow down the pace of our busy schedules, to take our time, and even to reclaim time. What I love about sundials is that they connect you with the cosmos. They connect you with a more natural kind of time um, than a, a digital flashing watch. Um, and of course they tend to slow you down uh, also, which is another thing that uh, political statement here that I feel like we need in our uh, 21st century iPhone uh, existence. Um, and so, uh, to me, that is the most uh, fundamental aspect of sundials, um, is allowing you to connect with the motions of the sun and perhaps even the stars and some types of dials. Um, in a way that you wouldn't otherwise, and, and to cause you to think about time. Battle Point Park is where the community of Bainbridge Island spends a lot of time. Time walking, time playing sports, time with our children, time with our animals, time in our gardens, time gazing at and learning about the stars and the night sky. The sundial's creation is specifically featured in our park's lease to the observatory. Bainbridge Island's own Bill Baron Mickle, an internationally renowned metal artist, has designed the sundial and crafted a full-scale model. You may have seen the model. The sundial will be the first of several works of public art planned for Battle Point Park. Yep. We need something to draw people to the observatory. And if we could put a nice sundial on top of the berm, which is a little bit north of the sundial, it can be seen from all over the park. And people come over to see what it is and they'll get information about uh, the sun and they'll see the observatory and we hope they'll come down there and we have information about the observatory down at the observatory. Mm -hmm. And later on maybe they'll come to our shows which we have once a month for the public, a planetarium show, mm -hmm. and get interested. Mm -hmm. And this thing will be able to be seen by you know three quarters of the yeah. park. Yeah. What's neat they're is wrong. they're they're zooming around in their, their busy lives mm -hmm. and you know, a certain percentage of them, and over time, I hope, hopefully all of them will kind of look up there and go, wow, what is that? And it, this is, it is a beautiful shape. It's, it's a sculpture in itself, and they can be drawn into it, and they can find their own place, literally, right there with the sun. It, it kind of slows them down to, uh, to read the plaques and, and start to understand their place in the universe. The Sundial Project has a budget of $30,000. So far, we've raised $13,000, so we're in need of $17,000. How can you be a part of making the Sundial a reality at Battle Point Park? How can you take back time for our community and for the Pacific Northwest? Take a look at our website, and you'll see a bunch of incentives there that may interest you. One in particular is a personally-led tour by Professor Woody Sullivan for the Seattle Sundial Trail. So Woody, would you anticipate that if we're successful in building this sundial at, at the Ritchie Observatory, that um, 
you would consider including us on your sundial trail? Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Uh, uh, this will be one of the nicer ones in the whole state. Thank you.